properties of acids and bases. Reaction of HCl with litmus solutions We require two test tubes placed in a test tube rack, red and blue litmus solutions, HCl solution and a dropper. Take the red litmus solution. Pour the red litmus solution into a test tube. Take the blue litmus solution. Pour the blue litmus solution into another test tube. Take a few drops of HCl solution from its bottle using a dropper. Add this to the test tube containing the red litmus solution. The color of the solution remains the same. Again, take a few drops of HCl solution from its bottle using the dropper. Add this to the test tube containing the blue litmus solution and note the change in the color. The color of the solution changes from blue to red. HCl is an acid with the pH value below 7. Reaction of NaOH with litmus solutions we require two test tubes placed in a test tube rack, red and blue litmus solutions, NaOH solution and a dropper. Take the red litmus solution. Pour the red litmus solution into a test tube. Take the blue litmus solution. Pour the blue litmus solution into the other test tube. Take few drops of NaOH solution from its bottle using the dropper. Add this to the test tube containing the red litmus solution and note the change in color. The color of the solution changes from red to blue. NaOH is an alkali with a pH more than 7. Again take a few drops of the NaOH solution from its bottle using the dropper. Now. Add it to the test tube containing the blue litmus solution. The color of the solution remains the same. Reaction of HCl with zinc metal We require a test tube, a small piece of zinc metal in a dish, a spatula, HCl solution, a dropper, a stand with a clamp, a single board cork, a jet tube, Bunsen burner and a matchbox. Using the spatula, transfer some of the zinc metal from the dish into the test tube. Take a few drops of the HCl solution from its bottle using the dropper. Add this to the test tube containing the zinc metal. Clamp the test tube to the stand, then close the mouth of the test tube with the cork and pass the jet tube through the hole in the cork into the test tube. Now, bring the clamped test tube downwards to heat it over the Bunsen burner. Hydrogen gas is evolved on heating. Take the matchbox and light a matchstick. Bring the burning match near the mouth of the jet tube. Hydrogen gas coming out of the test tube causes the flame to flare up. Then, with a mild explosion and producing a popping sound, the flame dips out. Reaction of NaOH with Zinc Metal We require a test tube, some zinc metal in a dish, a spatula, NaOH solution, a dropper, a stand with a clamp, a single board cork, a jet tube, Bunsen burner and a matchbox. Using a spatula, transfer some of the zinc metal from the dish into the test tube. Take a few drops of the NaOH solution from its bottle using the dropper. Add this to the test tube containing the zinc metal. Clamp the test tube to the stand, then close the mouth of the test tube with the cork and pass the jet tube through the hole in the cork into the test tube. Now, bring the clamped test tube downwards to heat it over the Bunsen burner. Hydrogen gas is evolved on heating. Take the matchbox and light a matchstick. Bring the lighted match near the mouth of the jet tube. Hydrogen gas coming out of the test tube causes the flame to flare up. Then, with a mild explosion and producing a popping sound, the flame dips out. 
Reaction of HCl with solid sodium carbonate. We require a flat bottom flask, a thistle funnel, a connecting glass tube, distilled water in a beaker, a stand with a clamp, some sodium carbonate in a dish, double board cork, spatula, HCl solution, a dropper and lime water in a beaker. Place the flat bottom flask on the clamp stand and clamp the neck of the flask. Using the spatula, take some sodium carbonate from the dish. Put this into the flat bottom flask. Take the beaker containing the distilled water. Pour some of it into the flat bottom flask. Cork the flask with a double board cork and insert the thistle funnel into the flask through one of the holes in the cork. Take the beaker containing lime water. Place this on the other stand next to the flat bottom flask. Carefully insert one end of the connecting tube into the flat bottom flask through the hole in the cork. Ensure the tube does not touch the solution in the flask. Place the other end of the tube in the beaker containing lime water. Take the bottle containing the solution of HCl. Pour some of it through the thistle funnel into the flat bottom flask. A gas has evolved. You will note that the lime water in the beaker has turned milky. Thus, the gas evolved a CO2 which turns lime water milky. Reaction of NaOH with solid sodium carbonate We require a test tube, a test tube rack, some sodium carbonate in a dish, spatula, NaOH solution, a dropper and phenolphthalene solution. Take the test tube. Using the spatula, take some sodium carbonate from the dish. Transfer the contents into the test tube. Take the solution of NaOH. Pour some of it into the test tube. Shake the test tube well. Take few drops of phenolphthalene from the bottle using the dropper. Pour a few drops into the test tube and note the change in color. The color of the solution turns pink. Both Na2CO3 and NaOH are alkalized, so they do not react but form alkaline solutions. Phenolphthalein produces a pink color in alkaline medium.